Guess what I've got here for you today, Sam? What have you got here? One of your favourites, mate, an RB30 Nissan engine. Well, finally, we do something worth filming. You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this has got a bit of a twist. We're going for a lot of horsepower here. And um, we're going to start, we'll do a part one video, all right? Because it's going to take me a while to do that. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. We're going to use a piston from a really good company. SRPJE. They use them actually in a lot of the touring cars and stuff in the, here in Australia, isn't it? You pay for what you get, boys. And this is um, top quality, right? So what we've got here... Now, do you remember I was showing what I taught you the other day about pistons? So what's this? What do you think it is? This is a, a forged piston. It is a forged piston, not a cast. So... It'd be a very noisy piston looking at this design here. Much better finish though. It's very nice, huh? We've got the piston there. Got the information there for me what to do. I've lost my voice a bit, so it doesn't matter. We're going to measure it first to see what it is. Here it says here, uh, my finished bore size. Standard bore is 86 mil. So this is a half mil oversized piston, so it's 86 and a half mil. And in Imperial, it's 3 inch, 405 and a half thou. So we're going to measure it. Let's see what we've got here. Oh God, look at the clearance on it. Very noisy piston too, Sam. We've got one, two, three and a half thou clearance on it. So these are going to rattle. And if I go down there, it's only six thou. Okay, so our full finish size is going to be there. So I'm going to transfer. Let me put that away. That measurement on a tool bit now. I'm going to take a dummy cut. I'm not going to take the full cut on it. First cut, so we don't stuff it up. You know? It's always good to do a test cut. Adjust it again. And then do a final cut. And you're gonna double bore it. actually taking 20 thou in one hit so what I've done I've got to hone the engine out so I made the small the bore smaller again and we actually for 20 thou 20 thou over so you're actually only taking 10 thou from here and 10 thou from there you're not actually taking 20 thou cut mm. actually it's half of it yep. but then again I'm gonna make it smaller again because I'm gonna hone it to my finished size So what size is this now? Oh, this is um, half a thou. Yeah. I'm going to put my hand down underneath. I'll keep it there for a while, huh? Okay, you ready? That's what I'm taking off. It's virtually dust. It's nothing. I'll put a crooked on purpose, watch this. <laughs> How cool is that, huh? Centralizing it. Huh? It's centralizing it. Yeah, exactly. You know where the machine's been made? No. Have a look.
Dave, check this out, Sam. There it is. That is my hand <laughs> over the years. Look at that perfect fit. <laughs> is that funny? Oh, yeah. Unreal, huh? What I'm going to do here now, Sam, is take the full bit out. See that? I'm going to put a... Um, see that angle there? There's an angle? Yeah. We're going to put a chamfer on that. See that chamfer there? It's really sharp now. You can't, you can't have that on the motor. So we're going to take that off. We put that in. We're going to make sure it's right. That'll be a bit further out. And then what I'm going to do is... Is that a champa? Yep. That's what we're meant to do then. Alright, so I'm going to do each and every one. And then we've finished the boring process. Next step. We're going to deck it. Cut it. So I'll set it up. And then we'll start again. Beautiful. On it, man. From pretty, pretty, pretty disgusting that it was before. Oh god, that's beautiful. Look at that, look at that, look at my hands on it. Okay, we're gonna get it off. I'm gonna hone it next. That's my next job on this. We're gonna hone it. So, get off the jig. Now, what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna change the the stone for this application I'm going to do, I'm going to put a, a little bit of a finer stone that I need for the rings, the sun and stone, I'm not going to tell you what I'm using exactly because there's no need for anyone to know, because we've got all those um, <coughs> wankers on the, um, on the line that say how I should do it, yeah, so, you like that one Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I won't. Yeah. I won't bleep that out. No, no, I'll leave no, it in. No, no, no. We're gonna, we can't. We cannot do that. You know, so. so what I'm doing here? I'm setting a stroke on it. So we want to cover the, the cylinder. Make sure it hangs it all from the top to the bottom. Without me smashing the stones in the bottom, you know. Okay, now, here is to tighten the stones, this is how I tighten them. The other one I'm using the jig there is the same principle but it's done by hand which is um, not, sort of semi-automatic. This is more old school and more of the fuel and I can feel what I'm doing here. I'm going to put a bit of a splash layer because it makes a bit of a mess and I'll do it. I'll do it, ready? Okay. I say to people, when somebody, when you've got a bloke that's doing this job, I'm not actually a mechanic, just to let people know. I'm an automotive machinist, first class. That's my trade proficiency, not motor mechanic. 
when your machine is charges it four or five hundred bucks to balance an engine, there's a reason why it does that is because it takes a lot of time and it does a job good. Like I'm hunting this engine up, right? it's not gonna take me five minutes to do that, it's gonna take me a while. I'm gonna take a little bit at a time, let it cool off, come back to it again, do it again, till we get the ball perfect. And then we then we're gonna wash it and prepare it and put it together. So this is the stuff that people don't see. Putting a motor together is pretty basic. But doing all the measurements and the, the pre-stuff beforehand. And that, like the ring gaps. I'm going to do a video on the ring gaps, how we do the ring gaps on them. I've actually got a specific machine for that, which there is a photo on my Facebook site, but not actually showing you how to do it. But I'll do that. I think this one we have to do it anyway, so then we're going to boost a bit of power on it. Anyway. See the lines? Look at that. That's a beautiful finish on it in the home. Good quality stones does a good quality job. Man. That's um, dead perfectly round. Dead level from the top, the middle to the bottom. Either way. Nice finish on it. This is like a, it's going to be really, really good. I love it. Beautiful. Yep. I'll wrap it up. We're going to leave this and we'll clean it up in the next few days. And We'll finish off. I balance it next, and that's it.